Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Neil. And we've packed up our home in Glasgow and moved into our cute retro camper van Harmony to travel all over Scotland exploring the best places to stand up paddle along the way. So come join our adventure as we visit the highlands, islands and everywhere in between on our Sup Sup Safari, Safari Scotland! Scotland. In the meantime, we're going to play tourist and we've got another castle that we are going to go and have a look at. And this one's pretty impressive, Culzine. I'm not sure if I've pronounced that properly. Culzine Castle. This one's been on Nilly's castle bucket list since the beginning of this trip because it seems to be pretty impressive. But look at this. I think that's just where they keep horses. paddling at Culzian Castle. You can see it in the uh, silhouette over on my shoulder there. The water is really nice and clear. There's lots and lots of seaweed and lots of rocks and things so I think most of them are far enough below the surface that they're not going to cause you too much strife. Um, but yeah beautiful day. I think it's like 26 degrees. Yeah almost warm enough to jump in for a swim but I reckon that water is still pretty cold. <laughs>
We're out on Loch Ken at the moment. We've come down to near Castle Douglas. Wanted to check out this wee island in the River Dee, uh, Castle Thiel or something like that I think it's called, because uh, saw some really beautiful pictures of the river, nice and calm and still down there. Uh, went in and had a look there but I, it's not really a very good option to get in through the bird reserve. Um, we spoke to the people in there and they said yeah it's possible you can go down there but trying not to encourage it obviously because of the bird life and whatnot. So a bit of a hike in, I think it's about 800 metres to get from the car park to the water anyway. Um, so they suggested we check out Loch Ken and it's really lovely up here. Some of the best conditions I think we've had on the whole trip so far, just so calm and tranquil and it's just so hot today, it's crazy, I think 22 degrees. <laughs> Feels like about 30, 32, 35, something like that. Um, yeah, I guess we're just not used to it anymore, being here for over four years now. But uh, yeah, just nice to be on, in and around the water when it's, it's feeling quite warm. <laughs> I should laugh, I'm kind of full. <laughs> Could be the Marucci River. Ooh, got my truck a tan showing there. <laughs> So there's a notice up on Loch Ken, just close to where we went in the water, about avoiding or staying close to the side of the loch 
for the area that is for water skiing. Uh, so that's definitely a consideration. However, opposite the caravan park, there's this cool little inlet that's almost like a river of its own um, that we've just paddled up. So apart from it not having any um, speed boats or well, those jet skis or uh, people trying to water ski, doing any of those sorts of things, it's actually a lot quieter too because it's further away from the road. So yeah, there's, there's plenty of options for exploring all the different little nooks and crannies in and around Loch Ken. But check this out. Sub like there, doing some sub photography. Just waking up on the opposite side of Loch Ken, uh, just a little lay-by, pretty nice quiet evening. Uh, obviously the road is right behind us so there's cars coming past but yeah there weren't too many through the night so yeah a really good spot to camp. Army having a warm up and new Walter to be both shoot for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd love to keep the videos coming, you can support us by liking, subscribing, clicking notifications, and sharing with your paddleboarding mates. See you next week.